Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's here by Mushroom Bring you guys another video guys in today's video We have a conspiracy theory We have something to talk about that the community is all talking about over on reddit and stuff like that I need to know your guys' opinions below feel free to comment on this video whenever you have a question or anything like that But we're going to be explaining the new map coming to Fortnite Battle Royale now That's just a theory that everyone's talking about I want to explain to you why the people think that this is actually happening now again Keep in mind. This is only a conspiracy theory conspiracy theories are like theories of things that could possibly happen but they have facts behind these things that the facts actually make sense like if you actually think about it you're sitting there and you're like yo these facts could make sense and it gets people to believe that it's true even though sometimes it is not true again they're 50 50 they could be true but they can't be true it's up to you on what you think is going to happen and that's exactly what this is it's a conspiracy theory a lot of people if you guys don't know i've made a few videos talking about this is the meteor that is coming to destroy tilted towers now some people are thinking it's doing more than just destroying tilted towers some people think that aliens are coming some people think that it's it's just going to destroy the complete map completely it's going to change things up from water to lava in the game and a bunch of different things is going to happen in the game with that meteors now some people think that it won't even destroy tilted towers and a lot of people are actually trolling it and they're being funny about it they're saying that the the meteor is like the tactical shotgun where it, it deals only seven damage sometimes because of the random hit accuracy or something like that it's hilarious you guys got to check reddit sometimes because they say some pretty funny stuff over there but besides that the theory is it's going to destroy the entire map that's what we're going to talk about today where the meteor actually destroys not just tilted towers but the whole map in itself and that creates a brand new map that the reason a lot of people are thinking this is because over on twitter if you guys don't follow fortnite's twitter page their actual og twitter page they posted a picture in the tweet and it actually said this the battle bus is taking off destination china now in that picture it shows man it shows blueprints it shows like four passports which if you guys don't know if you team up in this game you have four passports or there's four characters and one of the passports is open and it has a character named Jonesy Joan Jonesy I don't know how to say his name exactly but he's a male and the issue date was April 2018 now over on the right page it has a stamp which says China 423 2018 basically means April 23rd 2018 which is coming up in only three days you guys what does this mean something this has to be a teaser for something something's happening in three days in Fortnite Battle Royale season three coming to an end this close in the game and the whole theme of season three was space theme and it's coming to an end does this mean that the meteor is going to come and aliens are going to take over and all the normal characters are just leaving out of here they're getting out of here does this mean that the four main stock characters that we're all used to seeing does this mean that those four characters are going to be gone completely and they're going to give us four brand new stock characters like aliens or something like that again the possibilities are endless when you actually think about it it could mean so many different things but i'm going to tell you guys some clues Clues and some things that I actually think might happen. Now, one of the things is the the, the game's going to change completely and what I mean by that is they're going to get rid of the map that we all love and know right now currently in this game and they're going to the meteor is going to destroy the map completely and they're going to make a brand new map and it's going to have like China theme or something like that now that's one of the theories the biggest theory that everyone's talking about with this picture they're teasing that this is going to be a new map within the game and they're going to get rid of this old map now I want to know in the comments below if they do this are you going to be happy because I know a lot of people love this old map I mean how can you not love it everyone starting to learn everything about it we all know where all the chest locations are we know where the escape windows are what windows you can crawl out of and stuff like that and in my opinion if you want to be good at the game you got to know everything like that if you know every specific thing about the map it will help you become a better player because say look at this instance if you're trying to get out of a situation and you know exactly what route you can take you know what windows you can crawl out of or what walls you can break and stuff like that so it definitely helps out a lot when you're going try hard in the game and then of course knowing all the chest locations means you can actually loot extremely quickly quick without having to go through the whole building you already know where each chest location is now when they make a brand new map it's going to be like a brand new game all over again now this has pros and cons the cons i'm going to list first just because we want to hear the pros at the end but the cons are basically it's going to feel like a brand new game we're not going to know the chest location we're not going to be able to spawn and loot the houses extremely quick everything is going to be a little bit more slow but again the pros of the new map coming to fortnite battle royale is that we're going to be able to have a refresher on the game because guys if you don't know this game does get boring sometimes if you play it too much and you you basically know everything about the map you know all the spawn locations you know exactly you've landed everywhere you you have over hundreds of victory royale it can get a little bit repetitive so if they do add a brand new map to the game it's going to definitely refresh everything make everything brand new it's going to be a completely different game it's going to be a lot of fun there's always pros and cons to every situation within the game so again if they do add a new map i'm not saying that i would never play the game
game ever again. I'm not saying the game will completely die out completely. I'm just saying some people might be upset, but again, people get upset for new things added to the game, things being taken out of the game. So no matter what you do, you're not going to please everyone and you have to keep that in mind. So when it comes to this game, in my opinion, do I think it'll be good if they add, they delete the old map and add the brand new map? I don't know because Ninjas on his live stream once, I'm not going to quote the exact words because I don't know exactly what he said, but he said something like this. PUBG, the reason PUBG ended up getting ruined is because they added brand new maps in the game and it split the community up and it makes sense because think about this. If you have two brand new maps in the game, you have two, one brand new map and one old map in the game, it's going to split everybody up because you're either landing here or here and people that land at the new map, they're going to, they're going to maybe be bored of it and they're going to be like, no, I want to land at the old map because I know things there. And people that land at the old map are going to probably rage quit and back out so that way they can actually get into the new map. Again, this is just something Ninja said. He said something like this and it ruined the game because it split the community up. In my opinion, that does make a lot of sense because if they do add two new maps or there is two maps in the game, it's going to split everyone up. For those people that try to play the new maps, they're going to be able to enjoy it and have fun, but everyone that's going into the old maps, they want to try out the new map, but they're not going to be able to get into the lobbies right away, so they might not care to try that hard in the old map. Now again, this is just opinion, so this doesn't mean this is exactly what's going to happen, but it's just something to think about, you guys. Now going back to the tweet that Fortnite actually tweeted out, on the passport, on the right side, it says April 23rd, 2018, guys. A lot of people were thinking that's coming up really soon, like three days, like I said. Three days, it's coming up, and a lot of people were thinking that something is going to happen in three days. This has to mean something, and it does. I mean, they're definitely teasing something, and a lot of people think the meteor is going to strike on the 23rd of April, which is coming up in three days. In my opinion, I don't know if that's going to happen because I think that the meteor or Tilted Towers or something's going to happen at the end of season three, and that's how they're going to start season four out, is basically when the meteor strikes season four is going to be themed around that it could be either lava or it could be themed something else completely different who knows what the theme is going to be again we just have to wait and find out but people think that that's when the meteor is going to strike the meteor is going to strike the 23rd and tilted tower is going to be destroyed or the brand new map is going to come that soon but i don't think it's going to come that quick for an update that big to happen in only three days i don't know they definitely have to have been planning it out a lot of time before this but there's just been so many updates and things like that to the point where i don't see it coming i don't see something big happening like that because season four is right around the corner so why would they update the game with a huge update and then season four comes around and they have to do another huge update like i just don't see it possibly happening in fortnite battle royale now uh, one thing that my friend hollow point ended up mentioning in one of his videos is he said that he thinks the servers are actually going to be in china on april 23rd 2018 for those of you that don't know how video games work and stuff like that we're all playing online but how we do this is we connect to a server that's close to us like in north america we have a server that we connect to that's close and we play on that server so basically people in china don't have a server so there's nothing too close the closest thing is probably like europe or something but it's too far for them to connect to and be able to have a huge number of people playing on it so they're going to have to have their own server built in china so basically i think and what hollow point said it makes a lot of sense is on april 23rd they're actually going to allow people over in china to play this game which is definitely a huge thing because one china is massive if you think about it they have a bigger population than the united states so if they get all those people in china to get into the game that's millions more profit that they can make because it's going to be a lot more people playing the game they're actually going to probably be able to double the number of what they're making now just by getting china to play the game now business wise you got to remember epic games they are a business they don't just do this for fun they do this to make money i mean think about it how much money have you guys spent on skins in this game in my opinion i'm just gonna give you guys the number that i spent on myself i've spent like 300 dollars on skins on myself in this game that's not counting the giveaways that i give to you guys that is a lot of money 300 dollars on a game that's free and i haven't even bought the save the world version it's literally just for the free game for the cosmetics nothing else but cosmetics in the game and that's crazy to think i've spent 300 dollars and i don't even have the actual game itself which is crazy to think because i mean 300 dollars is like a whole console i could buy a whole new ps4 with that much money in today's day and age video games have gotten so big to the point where that's okay like you actually see that happening all the time call of duty a lot of people buy all these spent all this money on supply jobs and stuff like that so it's normal to see that much money being spent on video games in today's day and age but back then it was like $60 for a video game and you're good you can play the entire video game in itself but now things have definitely changed but that's going off topic and I'm going to tell you guys why a lot of people actually think that this conspiracy theory is true that the world is going to end that the map is going to change and that is because if you google the date that is shown in that picture April 23rd 2014 on google just type in the date nothing else no Fortnite or anything like that you're going to get a whole bunch of articles talking about time travel and the world ending now this is definitely something scary to think about but again if you think about it this is happening all the time i mean think about how many times people say hey the world's gonna
gonna end this date the world's gonna end this date it's a lot of people just thinking that they time travel or something like that or there's time travelers that come over here and tell us these things but in my opinion i don't think it's going to happen you guys but it is a scary thought that if you google april 23rd 2018 it pops up because if you google the 24th you don't get anything all you get is normal calendars you get holidays and stuff like that if you google the 25th the same exact thing and the 26th nothing happens there's nothing talking about the world ending it only happens when you google april 23rd 2018 and that's what the image shows but again you got to remember people over at epic games they're smart people they know how to keep the community talking and keep people on their feet you think they wouldn't google something like this and then found out that there's supposedly the world's going to end this date so they're going to get people to actually google things like this i mean they're definitely a smart game developer group think about it season three started off with space theme i mean everything was space theme and then all of a sudden at the end of season three there's meteors coming that means they had to have planned this out way before season three actually started they had to have said oh hey let's do this for season three let's do all this space theme and everything and then at the end of the season we can do meteors and stuff like that coming to the world and we could destroy tilted towers or something like that that's just takes a lot of thinking and a lot of planning ahead so definitely in my opinion it is a smart development team that they have over there but guys that's all i have for you in today's video if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up i appreciate that more than anything and i want to know your opinion in the comments below let, let me know whether you've either spent a lot of money on this game or if you think the world's going to end or if you think it's just going to be tilted towers that's destroyed in itself again i read all comments so let me know in the comments below i will let you guys watch out this game completely but i end up dying in literally three seconds by this kid right here that shoots at me so hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video peace